This week we are training to become WWE superstars. I know that there's a lot of backstabbing, changes in momentum. Today is our first day of training and we are at the WWE Performance Center headquarters. I am fully anticipating it being very difficult to perform at a top tier athletic level while also performing as an entertainer. All right, let's go train. Hi. Ladies. Thank you so much for being Hi. here. Hi. Thanks for coming. Michelle and Sydney have no idea what they're in for this week. This week we're here to get an immersion into this world. What are we headed into? So first, if you want to be a WWE superstar, you have to try out at one of the tryouts. Hopefully you get picked. There's different steps in terms of, do you have prior experience? So you can see in the Performance Center, there are seven different rings. So you either go in the beginners, the experts, or you kind of bounce back and forth. You could be doing this for four years. Then you have to learn a move set. Then you have to figure out your character. And then you have to put all of that together. And then you have to figure out, am I a good guy? Am I a bad guy? It's a lot. So this is a pretty ambitious endeavor to go from a regular person into a superstar recruit. While I know we're going to be training a lot this week, one week of training versus years of training is incomparable. So in order to get you guys prepared, we're gonna have you guys train with Sean in the gym and Matt and Sarah in the ring, and then me and Naomi will work with you guys on character and presentation. And we're gonna send you guys to a promo class with our NXT superstars. I'm excited to push my body to places that I haven't gone before and step into the atmosphere and just understand the world of WWE. My name is Sean Hayes. I'm the strength and conditioning coach here at the WWE uh, Performance Center. I'm in charge of the athletes here. They're all going to be future stars one day. I need to prevent injury. I need to keep them in the ring. There's strength and conditioning. There's, there's mobility. There's recovery, soft tissue stuff. The gym here at the PC is extremely intimidating. And on top of that, having Sean in your face, counting every single rep, watching you drip sweat, not knowing if you're going to make the next one, he will continue to push you. Michelle City, they're going to do an active recovery workout. I want to kind of analyze what they can do. Ah, I, I always smile when I'm like in pain. We'll activate the shoulders, little work, enough to get the uh, body going and the sweat going to feel like they, they worked out. I love the conditioning that WWE athletes do. The coaches here are so knowledgeable about the human body and how to build strength. I really do feel like every muscle got worked. We got to do leg day with the group and it was pretty intense, it was super gnarly and it was also the smartest workout I think I've ever participated in. It allowed you to push yourself while also giving your body enough time to rest so that you could recover and continue to push yourself. Then we got our big challenge of the day, all right? We got farmers carries half your body weight in each hand, four minute farmers walks, see how far you can go in four minutes. All right, you're almost, you're almost halfway, baby. Hey, your goal is 10 trips, all right? Both you girls, I want you to finish down there. Let's go. Let's just say I'm going to be a pro at carrying all of my groceries from the car to the kitchen in one go at this point. My name is Matt Bloom. I'm the head coach of the WWE Performance Center. To be able to come here and do what we do, it, it takes a big toll on your body, first and foremost. I think it takes passion. I think it takes heart. I think it takes the willingness to push your body to places that uh, you haven't been able to go before. My name is Sarah Motto and I am the assistant head coach and the head of female talent. I think it's really cool when people who have no experience come in and try and do what we do because a lot of people think they can. They have a preconceived notion that the ring is soft or that it's something they'll very easily pick up and it's much harder than you would ever imagine. Michelle and Sydney are going to have the opportunity to be in this very ring with two of the best coaches today. They're going to take back bumps. They're going to take front bumps. They're going to roll. They're going to hit the ropes. They're going to strike each other. First thing we do, we start with the foundation and that's just uh, proper footwork moving around the ring. When she hits that rope, both of her feet are here. She doesn't have one foot up here. She's not hitting this way. Her feet are flat. Throw that right hook over that top rope to make you turn. You're like three, one, two, three, turn. Those ropes look so soft and pillowy when people are flying at them. They're not. It feels like a metal rope slapping your back. But actually getting into the ring was like entering Mars. What do I think the hardest part of today will be? Probably gonna be bumping. A bump is when you get knocked to the ground. There's a variety of bumps that we teach here. Back bump, here we go. So, on that back bump, I know it looks scary, but once you get the hang of it, it's not. You have to attack the mat. If you go down slow and sectionally, it sucks. Tuck your chin. Tuck my chin. And bump. Better, not bad at all. 
Not bad, not bad. It's so counterintuitive to throw your body backwards into the ground and throw your arms back. I had to face a lot of fears today. Flip bump, we always go off one foot. Watch her right foot. And her head's replacing. When I was very young, I was in gymnastics, and a girl in my class, before my eyes, broke her back doing a flip. It took me a while to get through the flip bump because I was trying to get over this fear. And so I decided to stop, and then I watched Sydney do it. She did it on the first try. It was incredible. You're basically just throwing all of your momentum and catching yourself on your back. So I was really stoked when I did that correctly. That really gave me a lot more confidence to like just go out and try like she did. And then I did it. Okay, let's do front. Just gonna come into a half handstand and then just drop. Turn your face and you still want impact here. So slap the mat. Snap. Okay. Bend. Oh, okay. Much better. They're like, okay, we're gonna do body slams now. It's that iconic move where you're thrown upside down in the air and you land on your back. Cut the space, nice, reach, get her, get her. There it is, how'd that feel? Much better. That looked good too, good. Try one more. A huge high point for me was locking in. It really made me feel like I was in the moment and it was really intense and you're making eye contact with your opponent. In that moment, I actually felt like I was doing something correctly and felt like I like could own it and bring in more of a performance element. It was also really great to go one-on-one -on -one with Michelle and be able to do the moves, perform the moves on each other. The coaches were really awesome in breaking things down and explaining to us how to do it. I really do feel that if they hadn't pushed me in that that way and encouraged us in that way, I would have never tried something like anything we did today. Each and every week at the Performance Center, we hold a promo class or presentation skills, which is a chance for all of our competitors and athletes and entertainers to get up in front of their peers and perform the spoken part of the craft of what we do. This is Peyton. And this is Billy. And we are the reigning, defending, undisputed NXT we're dosing you right over Asa! Understand that we are heavy machinery, okay? We run through things, we smash things, we engage in general destruction. Yeah. And I don't care if I have to scratch and claw my way up to the top. If I have to burn this division to the ground, I will do that. Presentation and character is just as important as the in-ring training. And Michelle and Sydney are gonna have the opportunity to take promo class here at the Performance Center and walk down this very ramp. We like to put them in a position of being put in the spot. So with Sydney and Michelle in class, we wanna get them a chance to observe what our superstars do, see what it's like to portray a character in a larger than life manner, and then we're gonna ask Sydney and Michelle to stand up here on this ramp and show us what they got. And even if it's as simple as just giving us a background of who you are, what, you, what you're all about, knowing who you are as a person, so then we can help give you some guidance, give you some tips, give you some feedback to create that character. Hi, uh, uh, I'm Michelle. I'm new here. Oh yeah, let, let's just train. Let's have fun. Let's get serious. And I thought it was just contained to the training. And let's just say, sometimes rookies win. Claire. Yeah. I think that opening part where you came through with the playful fun, that part comes off as inauthentic. Like, all right, this girl's playing a bad guy type character. And what we do, I don't know that our audience would resonate that to a yeah. happy hey. It's gonna I was be just a more nervous it's gonna to be like who's be this chick coming in here and trying to play wrestler. Position. So. I liked the element of being the rookie. I think that's a character element of like unexpected strength. Hi, I'm Sydney, and I am super new to this. Yesterday I was thinking about it and I saw the future, and the future is me. I think you have a little less confidence. When you believe in yourself, a lot of those things do correct themselves. And I yeah. think you're, you're nervous, it's new, and I think we can do a few more reps over these next few days, get you a little more comfortable. Right on, have my starting ground. I am known to make sassy comments, so I'm thinking maybe I'll pull more from that side of my personality and go kind of more rogue and a little snappy. It's incredibly important for everyone to bring a clearly defined character that has a voice that can relate to the members of the NXT universe, the audience or the WWE universe as a whole. So we want them to bring that form of entertainment, mix that with their athleticism, present that illustrious X Factor and exude charisma to entertain the masses. Naomi, this is Sydney and Michelle. Hello, ladies. She's the two-time women's SmackDown champion. So ladies, 
Tell me a little bit about your characters and what you've been working on so far. I put a lot of thought into the higher points of when I did my promo, which was this, I see the future and the future is me. So Ooh. I'm kind of playing off of that and going for a fortune teller, enchantress vibe. In my promo, I talked about being a rookie and how no one knows about me right now, but everyone will soon. And one thing I started thinking about was like natural disasters that just kind of break out out of nowhere, like once in a lifetime. I think it's so awesome that you guys have like backstories to these characters and you put so much thought into it. So you ready to um, show me what you got? Yeah. Once in a lifetime, something happens that shakes the earth to its core. A crisis, hunger, a war, or even something delivered from Mother Nature herself, a storm. Something so unexpected, no one can predict it. Keep an ear to the ground and an eye to the sky, because this storm is coming. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the greatest of them all? Why, yes, of course. It's me, Prophecy. Now, I know I might be new at this, but I was made for this. I was born for this. I can see into the future, and that future is me. Yes. How did you guys get so good so fast at this? Promo. I am so proud of you guys, how much you picked up and learned in such a short period of time. And I can really tell that you guys have worked hard on it and that you're really feeling what you're doing. You guys were able to find a character that was believable. <laughs> Your confidence and presence was awesome. The promo class with Charlotte and Naomi was such a fantastic way to end our amazing week here at the WWE Performance Center. When I came into this challenge, I anticipated for it to be primarily physical, and it truly was incredibly physical. But I didn't realize how much fun and how big creating and playing a character would be. This experience has been insane from being pushed as far as I could, both mentally and physically, doing our first session in the ring and coming out and feeling like I had gotten hit by a truck, coming back into the ring and continuing to push myself and using muscles that I just have never used before. I have the most respect for these athletes and they are incredible athletes and performers. Thank you to WWE Performance Center and the NXT for opening their doors to us and just allowing us to have this experience to see what it really takes to be a WWE superstar.